this is the uh, KJW KCO2 and it, I have a foregrip which I like to use I use um, as a small bag of 22 rounds I think and uh, well you can indicate actually when you're out of rounds because this thing goes all the um, no when you're full this thing pops out a lot more I need to put a few more rounds in. Let me just do that right now. Yeah, alright. This is what it looks like with uh, all the rounds in. So you don't just keep squeezing the uh, speed load when you do that. So now I'm going to gas up the bag. And as usual, you do it the same as you would with every gas airsoft gun. You put it over like this. And you just go away. Alright, so I'm gonna shoot one bag because I got too cheap to buy more bags and I'm kinda sad I didn't do that. So, um, if I didn't say I'm using a center point red dot sight. I'll say it again, if I did. Um, it has a nice, uh, many modes of, uh, um, reticle. I'm using the ACOG style, because ACOGs are also, no, not the ACOG, uh, holographic style. Alright, so I'm going to shoot the target, which is about 50 feet away. Which is a reasonable distance. Um, okay. So I'm gonna shoot right about there. Wait, get them down. Better. Add rounds. Alright. Well, I put the uh, sitting on the quite high, so the um, brightness of my red dot side quite high, so I just sort of couldn't see the center of the tower get. Well, let me show you. Um, when I aimed at the middle, I got a pretty consistent grouping. Here, so just get a look at this. Right here. Alright, these are about uh, like half an inch apart groupings. And I shared the plate right here. Got some edge. Um, I think I need to do my sight now. Yeah, okay. So, got some good groups. And uh, that goes to my other plates. Alright. So I was using point twenty eight grand BBs with propane and uh, set the point red dot sight. Yay. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed my video review. I know a lot of you people have been waiting for one of these for a while because there aren't all too many. So thank you for watching and uh, I guess I'll stop the video now.